<laughs> Max Bach is, of course, a retiring senator from Montana. He's technically called a Democrat, but he should have a C next to his name for corporatist. There's never been a corporate policy that Max Bach has didn't love and champion in the Senate. Champion of, of uh, the lobbyists and donors. He's a great example of exactly what's wrong with the Democratic Party. Thank God he's leaving good riddance to him. Now, of course, the rest of the media doesn't treat it that way. They say, Max Baucus, who was so wonderfully yeah. bipartisan, he would agree with Republicans all no, the time. <laughs> okay, especially when corporate interests were involved. What a wild mm. coincidence. Now, they go along with this image of him as like an honorable gentleman from mm -hmm. Montana who acts on principles. So in order to build off that image, <laughs> Max Baucus doesn't say hi, I'm retiring to become a lobbyist, which is a absolute write it down in stone guarantee that that's what he's going to be. He can call himself a consultant, anything like that. That means lobbyist, okay? And I've guaranteed that so far about all the retiring senators, and I've been right about all of the retiring senators. He says he's going to go back to Montana. He's going to do no such thing. He's going to move down the street to K Street, <laughs> yeah. and that's where he's going to get paid. But in order to go along with this lore that he's <laughs> created in his own mind, Max Buck has decided to write a poem. <laughs> already awesome and you haven't even heard it, mm -hmm. okay? So he says as to why he's leaving, this is uh, what he wrote about why he's leaving. Quote, it whispered to me among the elk resting in a meadow east of the Bridger Mountains. I heard it as thousands of snow geese flew over the Rocky Mountain front. The pole came up from my soul like the ducks that rose in the clouds from the winter wheat fields of Teton County at dusk. Wow, mm. that is some good shit. See, there. you see That's that? Actually, not bad. I he's think he's retiring because of the geese. <laughs> yes, the yeah. geese pulled him. He's like, yeah. wait, 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 where are we going? Austin, get the geese are pulling me. I got, I got to go back to Montana. <laughs> oh no! It turns out the geese brought me to K Street. How did that happen? Yeah. Okay, I don't know how he could hear that call to retire over the majestic roar of his corporate donors. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I have written the real Max Baucus poem. Okay, we, we got. A or I should say, we got a copy of his first draft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's what. Max Baucus meant to say, it came to me in whispers of money rustling in my bank account. Over the ridges and pikes of cash that Goldman and Aetna gave me, the idea came to me. It pulled me into its orgasmic vortex as it spewed the lobbyist cash all over me. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, he yeah. just tightened that up a little bit. That's that, all. that sounds to me like a Jen Huger poem, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the spewing. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty is it's it's truth, it's simplicity, it's straightforward honesty, mm -hmm. which is what I always enjoy a Jenk Uker poem for. <laughs> <laughs>